a cheap and easy way to get green onions. I buy them at the dollar store. I cut them off. Get up there. At about an inch. That's not going to work. There's usually more white, but the greens I clean up and then dehydrate. And these I will either use right away or chop them up and freeze them for later. Next comes the planting. These are from last year, but I see I have aphids. So I gotta go bring banana peelings out. Oh, the aphids are all falling off. They're dead. Did I have banana peelings over here? Well, the aphids are dead. That's the main thing. Make a hole, stick it in, push it down. I have these in three different places. The one that gets the most use is the one right out front the, of the house by the kitchen door. But that's all it is. Okay, all planted. And in a couple of days, the onions will start sprouting. And then I will use them as I need them. Chives on the baked potatoes. Then when I need a whole green onion, I just cut it off ground level and it comes back up again several different times. And that's the finished product. Just need to water them now and then let them go. Here's the, oh, is that an aphid? Oops, roots are, it's developing roots. Didn't mean to pull you out. But here are the onions, the green onions that I cut off. That one's laying down and it wants to straighten out. Okay. It's got roots because it's fighting me. But I see aphids. They're running out of things to eat. I need to bring over the banana peels. But look how much they've grown. And eight days later, this is what we've got. The only thing is, I see we have aphids. And I usually don't use a whole banana peel. But nothing else needs it right now, so might as well just drop them around here. And see how that does. There's one down there. Saw a couple over here earlier. So we'll just let those go. But this is what kind of growth you'll get in eight days. And another week you'll be able to use them sparingly. And then before you know it, this thing will all look like this. Not like this. This one's a couple years old. This one's only a year or so old. It needs to be cleaned up. But that's what you get when you grow from the store. A produce garden, a produce department garden. This is just one of the things that I grow from the grocery store. I don't do celery because you don't get a lot from that. Carrots are absolutely pointless unless you just want to grow them for the tops for looks. I grow my potatoes and garlic, onions, green onions, brown onions, chayote, potatoes, ginger, sweet potatoes, and dried beans from the produce department. Ha, ha, ha.